Hey, yo, this is Meek J, and I'm rocking with Mikey T, the movie star, and we live on Report Card Radio. What did you think about Chief Keef dissing New Jersey on his record, Finito? Um, you know, that, that, see, I, I can give you the real story about the Chief Keef and the Jersey situation. It was a, a street beef that took place, you know, actually with people that's in my family, you know what I'm saying? So Chief Keith actually, it was over a female, you know what I'm saying? And it, my family member, his lady and Chief Keith, and the, they had a triangle situation going on. And you know how that go. One thing leads to another, two guys, one girl, back and forth, words go back and forth. It turned into that big beef because of a female. So that's how that took place. And it went into the streets and it went into a classic record where you actually with Chief Keith, another part, great part of hip hop, no matter how it happened, it is another part of hip hop because Chief Keith actually helped New, New Jersey by putting that record out, he shined the light on the city. And it, it gave uh, artists from New, New Jersey the opportunity to sh showcase themselves. So I, I look at the negative of it all, and I, and, I, and, and I appreciate the positive that came out of it. You get what I'm saying? So the, uh, the situation that happened was actually they tried to take Chief Keefe's chain. Was that actually what happened, or were they? Yeah, I, was, I was right there when it happened. I was right there when it changed. We were in the club, All Stars. He came through the back door. He had a, him and another guy. I was standing with my boy, um, Dre. He was doing security. And boom, he walked in. As soon as he walked in, guys jumped on top of him. Got him, chain came off his, the chain came off his neck. But Chief Keith held his ground. He, he fought back, the chain fell on the floor, he grabbed it, he ran towards the steps, he threw up his gang signs. The, 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 the dudes chased him down, he went upstairs and all hell broke loose. <laughs> In there. So, you know, the typical hip hop beats, you know, typical shit that goes on. So after this happened, one of the most prominent artists in New Jersey, Sue Surf, actually banned Chief Keef from New Jersey. What's your, what's your uh, take on Sue Surf actually sticking up for Jersey in that fashion against a big star like Chief Keef? I think that Sue Surf was in a great position to do so. I think that he did what he had to do. I think that that was the only thing to do with him at the time being the voice of Newark. You know what I'm saying? Because at that time, you know, Sue Surf had Newark on his back through the battle rap and also through his mixtapes. So he was like the main one blossoming out of the battle rap that's coming out of Newark, New Jersey, but also Shotgun Shug and Arsenal far as doing hip hop music is dope as hell too. Shotgun Shook was definitely one of my favorites. But Sue Surf, you gotta give it to him. You know, he, he excelled. He, he, he's another guy that got the gift, the gift for Gab and the, the persona. And I think that he did what he was supposed to do to catapult himself to the next stage. And um, he did what was right. Getting up on the map, putting up on the map, shut it down, show the world that we ain't playing. Sue Surf really went out on a limb to protect his city. That shows you how much people in New Jersey that are from Jersey actually respect it th themselves. Oh, yeah. North New Jersey is not a place that you want to come and play with either. Like, <laughs> it's, like, it's, it's a serious place. You know what I mean? It's a lot of love, but it can get very serious there. So if Sue Surf says you're banned from Jersey, you are pretty much banned from Jersey, though. Yes, if, you, if Sue Surf said, you know, he's one, of, he's one of the greats. He's one of the, the, uh, the uh, lead forerunners of hip hop for us. So, you know, I'm behind him 100%, no matter what he do, you know what I mean? Like, he from North, he putting it down, he's, he's bringing limelight to North. You know, you got to respect that. Even if you're not dealing with him personally, you don't have to be. Just him bringing the, 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 the cameras and, and the hip hop world to the city, it creates opportunities for talent that's not being seen. So right. Who serve. right. And like you said, you know, Chief Keith actually mentioning Newark, actually mentioning Jersey on what probably his third biggest song of his career following Don't Like and Love Sosa. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, so it, it, was just, it was like Jay-Z 
saying, I'm a do- I'm a, I'm about a dollar. What, who the fuck is 50 cent? Or what the fuck is 50 cent? It was like the same thing on a on a smaller scale. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Nah, man. Yo, I appreciate you joining me tonight on Report Card Radio, my dude. Absolutely. It was definitely a good interview. Meek J, Mikey T, the movie star, very exclusive here, man. Do you want to leave out anybody with anything? I want to say shout out to just the hip hop community, period. And, and as a whole, we need to start thinking better, put our minds together and get back to the craft, get back to the, the talent, the essence of making music, the essence of making music, the, the, the love for the music, the passion for the music. Put the guns down, pick the mics up. Reporting live with Mikey T, the movie star on Report Card Radio.